In today's video, we're going to be talking about the difference between your personality and your true identity and why you want to know the difference between the two and how you can really start stepping more into a space of your true identity so you can do, be, and create everything that you want. Because the truth is, the one thing that's getting in the way of you having and creating and being everything that you want, it's your personality. And here's why. Your personality is made up of past imprints, of trauma, of belief systems, of who your parents think you are, who you think you are, who you think you should be, and all of these other pieces that have made you who you are today, which is a beautiful thing. It also has our ego, the part of us that keeps us safe, the part of us that protects us. And so the challenge is, is that we can get stuck in our personality, which is also the person that we've always been. So going back to the person who we've always been, it's very difficult to step into our infinite self, our our true identity, which is really where we can co-create at an accelerated rate with the universe and have massive freedom and flow in all areas of our life. So as you can tell, this sounds pretty amazing. Being in that space of flow, creation, abundance, and bliss is what we truly want, but we need to know how to unpack our personality first, right? So the first piece of really understanding your personality is knowing that it's actually not your true identity. So your past is not you, your past behavior is not you, and your past programming, where you grew up, what your parents think, who you have been, the things that happened to you, um, and also the belief systems that you have. So just for a moment, I want you to think of something that you want right now. Maybe it's a really beautiful relationship with someone. Maybe it's more abundance. Maybe it's to live more powerfully in your purpose or step into your purpose or make a big change. But now I also want you to think of the thing that comes up for you that is getting in the way of you manifesting what it is that you want or keeping and sustaining what it is that you want. Chances are, is coming back to your personality. And so let's unpack that for a second. Your personality is who you've always been. It's your ego and all of those things. So it's very difficult to make the shift from who you've been to who you're meant to be. And there's a question that I like to put out there that is my very favorite question that I ask people is, the question is not whether or not you are here to do great things. The question is, are you ready to step into the truth of who you are and who you meant to be? Are you ready to step into and wake up to the truth of who you are and who you're meant to be? And that really requires a level of unpacking. So in the programs that I offer, we go a lot deeper, but I'll give you a little bit of a summary of some of the things that you can start to do right now to have a little bit more clarity. So number one, think of those limiting beliefs around money, around um, the kind of relationship that you want, around the kind of business or the way you want to live your life. And then think of anything that's getting in the way, any thought patterns right away, those thought patterns that are telling you you're not ready, that are telling you you can't, um, or it's not available to you right away. Ding, ding, ding. That is comes from, that comes from your past, it comes from your personality, it comes from maybe something from childhood, maybe an imprint, maybe a belief system. So right away you know that it's not you, which is amazing because you can change it. Anything that is not the truest essence of you can be transformed into something new. So one thing you can do is you can look at them and ask yourself, well, how do I want to feel instead? What is a belief system that I want to have instead to move me forward so that I can really be more open to receive and create and do and have what it is that I want? The next piece is unhealed trauma. Anytime we experience a trauma, there's an image, a thought, a body sensation, an emotion, and an energetic that becomes frozen in time. So it's kind of like right now, if we were to take a picture, everything would be frozen. So anytime we have a strong imprint from our past or trauma, what happens is we're not able to fully process the experience. So everything becomes frozen. And again, in that moment, those five things happen, the image, a thought, a body sensation, emotion, and an energetic. 
So what happens until we've actually healed the trauma at its core and pulled out the roots, what happens is unconsciously or subconsciously, we're constantly being triggered by our reality. We're constantly being triggered by things that are similar to the energetic, similar to the image, the thought, the body sensation, the emotion. And what happens in our normal day life when we're being triggered by our reality subconsciously, we step away from ourselves, we self-sabotage, we play small, and we don't move forward with the things that we want to because we don't feel it's safe or we get triggered and we opt out. And that comes from past trauma that's been, that's not, that has not been healed. So it's so important to heal your trauma, especially the core traumas that you have so that you can really step into a space of freedom and choice. Because the truth is, unhealed trauma until we heal our trauma we're constantly recreating it in our now so the next thing i want you to think about is what areas of our of your life do you find yourself having the same challenges happen maybe it's in relationship there's a lack of trust or you keep manifesting a cut type of partner and it's toxic or certain dynamics and relationships in in your work or certain restrictions in your life or your physical health they keep manifesting well the truth is it's because there's an unhealed trauma that's trying to resolve itself in your current reality. And until you heal it, you're constantly going to be operating from a place of default settings. So let me break that down just for a second. So default settings, just like a computer, it has a certain settings that it goes to. So when we have trauma, we have settings that we go to when we're triggered subconsciously. So you might be in an environment and not feel great and then leave, or you may, when you feel close to someone, you may feel scared and you may ghost them, or you may react away, you make it might get clingy, whatever it is for you. And what happens or self-sabotage and um, binge eat or become um, an alcoholic or have addictions and have all of these challenges. And it is because you are being subconsciously triggered by something from your past and you're looking for a way to escape or get out of this situation. Okay. Or in relationships, we can have these trauma bonds. We can attract people in intimate relationships who have the same trauma as us, but maybe play the opposite role. And we're trying to complete the trauma by being in these relationships with people who we may label as toxic in our life. But the truth is we are manifesting it because we are an energetic match for it and we have not healed our trauma so we continue to energetically attract it into our life. So the truth is you gotta do the work on your personality and really shift that, heal the trauma, look at the limiting belief systems, move through it, get that support and understand that those limitations, those behaviors, those belief systems, those manifestations are not your true identity. Now let's step into your true identity. This is what I love to talk about and this is where all of the fun happens. Your true identity can do, be, create, anything it wants. It is a space of full expression. It is a space of bliss. It is a space of really moving into the space of least resistance where things just happen all the time. Miracles happen. Synchronicities happen. It just becomes easy and in flow and you feel supported because you are supporting yourself by being in that space. And this is the path of least resistance where you can receive the kind of abundance you want. You can attract the kind of partners that you truly desire that can meet you and see you and, and be with you. And you can truly step powerfully into your purpose and your full expression without fear. So the thing is, the truth is most people, most of the population is stuck in their personality. And there's a good portion of people who are working on doing some of the work in their personality department, the past, all of those things, programmings, imprints, traumas, um, belief systems, who they think they are, who they think they should be, all of that stuff. And that's great. But the thing is, many of them, when something uncomfortable comes up that's too close to home, they opt out because they're like, well, what are my parents going to think? That's going to be too hard for me to make that change. And then they make all these excuses. We can make all these excuses and then not take action. And those are the things that keep us stuck. So I want to do this video because this is something I see come up so often with people in my community and in the work that I do that we can get so attached to our personality because it's who we've always been and it's who we've been known to be. And this also includes our bad habits, right? Of self-sabotage, maybe 
over committing, playing small, um, people pleasing, all of the things that we want to shift resides in our personality. So the key to transformation is going back there and really doing the work and having the right guide and support to do that. This is exactly what I support people with. So if you're looking to go deeper and really move through some of the things that I mentioned, I have an incredible program that's called Turn Your Light On and you can click below and learn more about it. One of the enrollments I'm sure is coming up within the next six months as we run this program a couple times a year and we cover all of this and it's super, super powerful. So the message that I have for you today is is, are you gonna hang out in your personality in your past and let that drag you as you try to move forward in your life and take the path of most resistance or are you ready to unpack that and move forward powerfully with what it is that you are here to create because the truth is the question is not whether or not you are here to do great things the question is are you ready to wake up to the truth of who you are and who you're meant to be. And if you're looking for a guide, I would love to support you. Sending you lots of love, my friends. Oh, and one more thing. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button and click that bell beside it so that you get notified when a new video blog comes up for me. Sending you lots of love. Mwah.